This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. This is the day that Skylar Thompson passed Teddy Stillwater on the depth chart, by the way. Now, if if uh, Skylar is healthy with his hand and can get back to being healthy, clearly he's the number two quarterback now. Teddy Stillwater doesn't have the athleticism at all to move around. He doesn't have any strength whatsoever to fight off some kind of a tackle, arm tackle, something like that, which not that necessarily two is that, but he's got a little more more escape out of him. But Skyler definitely is a stronger individual. Got a stronger arm. You can do more. You're too limited with Teddy. So I, I one thing that I, for me at least personally, I don't know. You guys can tell me there on the chat board. Uh, but as crazy as it sounds, I would have never thought this. But Teddy Bridgewater is great to be there as a hard drive. That's what Teddy. That's what Teddy Stillwater is right now. He's a hard drive, and he's a hard drive because he's incredibly smart, and you, he can read the defenses. He knows what's going on, but athletically, he just does not have it that you need in order to be effective as a passer in this league. Unfortunately, that's that's been the reality forever. Unfortunately, there's some of you out there that you use emotion as a decision. And because he's so likable, because he's so intelligent, because, you know, he's such a great dude, you're blinded by the obvious that he's just a guy. So Stillwater needs to be number three and be used as the information guy, the assistant coach to the coach. So Skyler is trying to figure things out. Teddy can help him decipher it. Things that Tua maybe still hasn't seen yet, Teddy can help him decipher that. But it is time athletically to move Skyler up to number two because he showed me that while he was in there, they were very capable of moving the offense. It was the incapacitated minds of the Miami Dolphins around him because obviously they took a stupid pill and they started committing all kinds of mistakes. And they they kind of killed themselves. It says Tyler didn't didn't lead to any scoring drives. It wasn't his fault why he didn't lead any scoring drives. I can tell you that. And I think anybody that saw the game saw the same thing I did. You can do some stuff with Skyler, and you have the threat of going downfield and everything. Okay, and he and by the way, the line gave them time to throw today, even with backup tackles. The quarterbacks were not running for their lives. They had time to throw a lot of times. So it was how many how many sacks did they finally give up? And some of them may I may not even have to some of them I think it might have been Teddy that he was just so slow and he really, you know, couldn't get out of a play. It might have been. Let me look it up here. How many sacks that they, they ended up getting? They got six sacks. And I would say half of those I wouldn't even blame the line for it. Uh, they thought they, they had some stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Teddy kept running into uh, Teddy. Teddy's just, uh, I, I tried to tell you guys for a long time. I've tried to tell you guys, you know, I had a guy who was like, Oh dude, you're just, you're being a hater. He's a local guy. I'm like, dude, I get, he's a local guy. It has nothing to do with it. Look at what really goes on. Look at his stats. None of his offense are ever explosive whatsoever. He can't even average two touchdowns a game. Today was a miracle. He threw, he threw two touchdowns today, I think. Yeah, two interceptions, two touchdowns. That's like a miracle game for him. And that's